the next chapter we have cubes and cube roots now cubes means multiplying the number three times so if you are asked what is three cube it indicates three multiplied by three multiplied by three so three into three is nine nine into three we get 27 four cube similarly will be four into four into four so four into four is 16 and 16 into 4 we get 64 5 cube will be 5 into 5 into 5 that is 5 into 5 is 25 25 into 5 is 125 so these numbers any number can be given to us we can num multiply it three times we get the cube of that number the reverse of this is called the cube root now if we are asked to find out the cube root of 125 that will be 5, the cube root of 64 will be 4 and the cube root of 27 will be 3. To find out the cube root, the easiest way is the prime factor method. Now when we are going to use the prime factor method, we can find out the factors. For example, let us find out the cube root of 64. The symbol for cube root is this, this is a square root symbol and we write a small 3 inside this indicating this is cube root. So cube root of 64. We will find out the factors of 64. 2 goes 32 times, 2 goes 16 times, 2 goes 8 times here, 2 goes 4 times in 8, 2 2's are 4 and finally 2 1's are 2. And now in case of cube roots we have to make groups of 3. In square roots, we were making groups of 2. Here we make groups of 3. So this is one group. All the three numbers are same. So this becomes one group. And we have three numbers here. And this is also another group of 2's. 1, 2, 3, 2's here and 3, 2's here. So we can say that cube root of 64 is 2 multiplied by 2. That is 4. In the same method, we can find out the cube root of other numbers. Suppose we want to find out the cube root of 125. So cube root of 125, again by prime factor method, we can find out the factors of 125. So 5 goes 25 times, 5 goes 5 times here and 5 goes once. So we find that there are 3 numbers, all the 3 numbers are identical that is 5s and this becomes a group. So we can say cube root of 125 is 5. So we can find out any number like this and some numbers may not be perfect cubes. For example, if we are having a number 80 and we find out the factors of this, question is find out whether 80 is a perfect cube or not. So when we find out the factors of 80, 2 40s are 80, 2 20s are 40, 2 10s are 20, 2 5s are 10 and 5 1s are 5. So here these 1, 2, 3, these 3 form a group but here we find that there is only one single 2 and single 5. So this number is not a perfect cube. So there are certain numbers which are perfect cubes and if it is a perfect cube you will be able to make groups of 3. If we are not able to make groups of 3, as in this case we found that 2 and 5 do not form groups of 3, then those type of numbers are not perfect cubes.